the whole night. So during <coughs> industrialization, um, there was a lot of um, noise. The size is a bit more so much. Nicolai, when I'm talking to you, though. So this is when you are growing up. We saw about the Agrarian Revolution, like the whole steel industry coming up in the middle and when they were doing that, or during what you call the gold rush, that of course comes with horses, na machinery, na vituka maizo. So that is a lot of noise. Okay? Now, ukienda kwa construction industry, ama any place yenye kitu inatengenezwa, it's very noisy. Sindio? Because there's a lot of friction going on, like bend things, we crash things. You are crushing your thoughts. No, you have manga have crushing thoughts. So why would you say you have crushing thoughts? Or these feelings are crushing me. Those feelings just crushed me. I'm a, my whole world they just crashed. But me nikikuona na ona kuna kitu kime crash. So what you are doing is that you are creating mental forms. So in your mind, you are building. Now you have things that we call building blocks. So the same way... Uh, in religion, ama in church, nongyanga about a cornerstone. When you go to the Rasta people, they sing about the Kaaba stone. Naskia aksema, I'm the Kaaba stone, the original Kaaba stone, the Kaaba, the Kaaba, the Kaaba. I'm the original Kaaba stone. And then when you go to the Bible, they talk about uh, the stone that the, few, the, the builders re, uh, refused. Na vitu kama hizo. So, iyo cornerstone is a natural ritual that you do in your mind where you are laying your groundwork no no and nasasa you have to know what you call the etymology of the words because you do that using your language using your lingo or using what you can say um you see the the tongue you have what is your mother tongue okay what is the mother tongue why are we interested in the mother tongue because the mother tongue Remember, what does the tongue do? The tongue of, or, or, oscillates or vibrates. For example, right now, what I'm doing is I am uh, I'm humming om or ah, uh, whatever the hum is. But now my tongue, my tongue is breaking down the frequency. So my tongue is breaking down the vibration and giving it a frequency that now can get to you depending on the language or how I code it. So the language is how I'm coding it. So right now, I'm coding my vibe in that frequency, which you are calling a language using the vowels. You are following? So your mother tongue, it is based on your lineage, ile ya matano, patano, mother ndiyo patano. Mother ni patano ama ni matano. Whichever, the lineage, which is the umbilical cord na your lineage. Sasa iyo, do you nakuonga na the tongue? But it's not about the tongue. It's how you break down the vowels. Now your vowels is the heliographics or what you call, how you're understanding the language or what you're interpreting. So whatever I tell you is not important. It's how you're interpreting the pattern. So if you don't have the interpretation, if you don't have the program to interpret the English that I'm speaking to you, you cannot get it. So if you can understand me, it is because you are given a program, which is what you are calling English. That is why you had an English program. So it's a program. It's something that is your program into. It's something that is installed in you. A language is installed in you. Because it's external, you are getting. So the only language 
which is what you are calling your mother tongue, is the one that your mother is speaking, not from external, but based on uh, that lineage. Una follow sasa? Okay, because I want to show you how you create spells, or even why when you are saying the Psalms in the Bible, you are supposed to decode them and break them down into your own language. You get. So you can say the Psalms of the Bible all you want, for as long as you want. You can scream them, you can, you can, you can jump up and out. You can, you can do whatever you want with the Psalms. You can put them on beads, you know, you can put them as prayers, you can put them on matatus as graphics, they will never work for you. They will never, and this is the only time I'm using the word never work for you, because the Psalms were the Psalms of David. And you are not David. And you are not from that lineage at all. So your tongue can never interpret it. So you can only speak in tongues for you to understand the Psalms. So you are supposed to take the Psalms, okay, from that Bible. And now you speak in tongues, a.k.a. you speak in a language that even you don't at do not understand. Because even when you tell me you are a Kikuyu, you are not maybe a Kikuyu. Because let's say, for example, your mama is a Mkamba. Okay? Your mama is Kamba. And your mama gets buried by a Kikuyu. Sindio? So, ata tukifanya richo, tuseme tumenunua mamako, tumemungiza kwa Kikuyu. Akiza watoto si ataza watoto wa Mkikuyu. They be speaking Kikuyu juwa mewalewa kwetu. Sindio? So, these children... They are speaking Kikuyu ndiyo, mama ke ni mkamba tumemunua na mbuzi. But by tongue, by lingo, by the source, because the mother is the, uh, the egg carrier, the man is the seed donor. So, our toto, what is their language? Are they Kikuyus or Kamba when it comes to uh, speaking in tongues? They are Kamba, exactly, they are Kamba. Lakini, wame learn, ama wame adapt, ama wame kewa language ya, the Kikuyus. The same way you come right now, I'm using English because I'm speaking to a lot of people. No, no, ni global. You get it? So, since you don't know how far back you have been mixed, you don't even know how far back you have been mixed. Wajua naonanga watu wa kisema, oh, we are Africans, we are people. Hakuna African piwa. We are so fucked up, we are so mixed up, even our skin color, e-pigmentation. Munaitanga melani, nda kuonyesha how fucked up we are. Because all races were supposed to be golden. Watu wanafaa kukaa kama mchanga. You see the suns in the sea, that golden color. Even the white people are mixed up. They are not even pure. Tukianza kuongea about the pure race, tutaenda kwa the Puerto Ricans, when you are following the blood. But sasa, that's going too deep. You have visitors. Kuna gari. Ama jakuja huku. Wee. Ebu ni ushie maji ya kunyu ukiwa hapa chini hapa juu. Iko. Sile ya uko, kontrole chupa moja. Oh, back to the live. So now, so, uh, <clears throat> since now you know that um, you cannot tell how far back you are mixed up, a.k.a. you are not pure breads. So, ukiangalia into history, utakuta even people like uh, Hitler was trying to have what you are calling a purist. Because they knew to track a purity is so hard. So what they do now, they maintain what you call a bloodline. They know they can no longer maintain a purity. It is not easy. Once in a while, wanapatanga kamoja kao. That is why they keep track with the birth certificates and vituka maizo. And that is why every time you have exclusive gifts, let's say you are a superstar, they have to find a way to get your blood. Watakuambia, we want to test your blood for for whether you have additives, whether you have been doping. They are not checking for doping. They are checking all these new athletes. Let's take this blood, run it, see if one of them is ours. See if one of them matches our blood type. Now this goes deeper because now this is going to the blood types. Blood type A, okay. if you have a blood type A, that means you have Anunnaki in your blood. Uh, if you have uh, AB, that means you have an, uh, Anunnaki blood mixed up with um uh, be uh, uh, added an additive. If you have O negative, that means you are from the pure race, uh, the O negative, from the space of nothing. Uh, if you are an O positive, that means you are pure, but you have added something. So that positive means you have gone into something. You are no longer as pure. Okay, all the way to antigens. I think I have a video on YouTube about uh, blood types. Now, so, since you cannot know your exact tongue, like to speak in tongues the way it's supposed to be in the Bible, then, or what you call Psalms, 
So when you're doing your sums, you're supposed to take the sum that you're supposed to be saying. Uh, an example, what's an example of a sum? Anyone, or anyone of you can, can put a sum there as an example. Some, one of you can Google a sum, put it in the comments, then I'll use it as an example. Just take one sum, a short one, put it there, and then that is what you are going to use an, as an example. Now, so you have organs. The only reason you know about your organs or what you call your heart is because you are told it's called a heart. So when you grew into this language, whichever, which in English, whichever, you are told that you have a heart. The main organs, everybody knows that the heart's work is to pump. So in any people or community or language, it doesn't matter whether they are Chinese, Japanese, the word that they are going to give you will have to do with the heart having to pump. Okay? Having to pump. It's work being to pump or it's work being to do with uh, emotional um, uh, centeredness and home and care and avitukama iso. So that is language going beyond uh, the, the, the known language. Now this is just based on your, the spirits that we have agreed on calling things hard. Navitukama iso. Now, like matako, will around the world, the buttocks will always have to do with something you can sit on or, or put a weight on in all languages. Also because of where it is being in the region of below the horizon. So up on the Akina Scorpio area, the eighth house, uh, the organs is darkness. That is in why you wear pants, Navitukama Iso, why you wear boxers, uh, because these are organs that like being uh, after the sunset, 6 p.m., so they have to be in darkness. So that is even why you have pubic hair growing in your nether legions around the Libra area, Pochini, uh, okay, back to the live. So, you take the Psalms, okay? So, so, me and Dika Psalms 23, how will I know when you nasema? How will I know? So, you're supposed to write it down. As I say, Psalms 23, now nasikia na wambia. How will I know sound? How, okay, Psalms 23, and then, how will I decode Psalms 23? Is that, you can say, 2 at 25, na 21, number 1. Ama 2 Psalms. I want a verse. Okay? Now, so, <clears throat> Since you know your organs, this also because you went to school biology. So Kambiwa, this is the heart. Ukambiwa, the heart has what you call an aorta. Ukambiwa kona left ventricle. Ukambiwa kona right ventricle. Ukambiwa kona four chambers. If you had not gone to school or if someone had not given you that program, you know you are functioning without wanting to know the names. Okay, the details. So there's a reason someone wants to know the details. Now, the details or the namings is trying to give each and each specific body part a correspondence based on the work that it is doing. That is why you have the blood system. Then you have what you call the lymphatic system, Yakuklin. Now, <coughs> Oh, I thought they were coming in. What happened? So now, based on that, eh, um, that tongue, or what you are calling the mother tongue, since you have so many body parts inside you that you don't know, ni mingi sana ujui wewe, unajua zanyo ulifunzwa, right, tatiko, ventrico, there are so many things you don't know that happen inside your body. Thank you. Now, inside your body also, like you have cells, the cells within cells, what you call the nuclear cells, the nuclearis, whatever the cells. Inside the cells themselves, there are other cells within cells. And since you can name those cells, Kusababu was in a magina. And those cells carry a, a, a function of their own. For example, when you talk about the macro and the micro, we know that when you're talking about the first house or Aries or spring or bath, we are talking of that can be seen in so many ways. That can be 6 a.m. in the morning. That can be a micro of uh, as above, air is rising. 6 a.m. in the morning, you can also do a micro of 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay? By every minute on your, on your, on your, on your, um, on your hour, your hour has 60 minutes. So you can also decide the 60 minutes into... When you are going to one new hour, the first minutes of that hour represent 
the micro again of that macro. You get what I'm going with this? So the same way. So to speak in tongues, na hii watu wa kanisa wajai jua, they don't even know why they say they are speaking in tongues. It's because you are supposed to communicate to these organs inside you. These are your 5000 witnesses. When you hear of them talking about at the, at the, and, 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 and your phoenix will die or you, they say you will die and then when you die or when your phoenix dies or whatever, then the five witnesses are going to witness you rising. That means when you die or transform, when you are laying down there flat, when your solar plexus, your solar plexus, your fifth house, when your fifth house is rising, when your Jesus is rising, when your phoenix is rising, when your spirit is rising, the other 5,000 witnesses are the other spirits inside you, the other uh, what you call um, uh, micro use. Those are small units of you. These are like, for example, ushayi ona watu wakicheza video game and ukiuwa mtu video game, iyo charge yake, iyo chi, what you call the chi, iyo chi yake inatoka, unaikula, inakujoin. Ama like, let's say you are fighting a monster in a video game, when you kill them, when their spirit is rising, it is ingine zinaifuata, like smoke. So those are your 5,000 witnesses. Okay? So, your 5,000 witnesses, you don't know how to communicate to them because you don't know each one of them. So, Psalms, when you are saying Psalms, instead of saying Psalms for David, you are supposed to take the Psalms, okay? And you are not supposed to know how to say it. Sasa, this is now where it comes, speaking in tongues. You are supposed to speak or go into go into a kind of a trance where you are just speaking you don't need to know what you are saying the most important thing is the intention so you can say anything as long as you know the intention that you are speaking to these parts sasa you ndio it was speaking in tongues or when you are saying the psalms to these 5,000 witnesses, but you don't know how to communicate to them because you don't know who your father was fucking, who your grandfather was fucking, who your great-grandfather was sleeping with, or your great-grandmother was sleeping with. Because when we go to the world, we have a lot of lost tribes. People have been mixing and mingling all the way to that your father and your mother are not related. Your grandmother and your grandfather were not related. Your grandfather and your great-grandmother were not related. So we have, have a lot of mixing and mingling. So we lose the tongue. Are you following? Sasa wewe ukienda kwa kanisa unasema ati I'm speaking in tongues. Sujui kile nyu unafanya. Ukisema you have the Holy Spirit. You are lost. That's not how you understand it. You are not supposed to know what you are saying. Neither is the person next, next to you supposed to know what you are saying or them saying. Because when you are communicating to these parts, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. It's how you are speaking to your psyche, to your spirit. What positive vibes do you tell yourself? Do you look at yourself ugly? Do you feel ugly when you are in this trance of prayers or whatever unasema umeshikwa na spirits? Are you feeling ugly about yourself? Are you feeling weak? Are you going in, in, in the shape of lacking? Because if you are going in lacking and you are saying ume possess you on a spirit and you are speaking in tongues, you are sending that to your 5,000 witnesses. So you'll always be in problems. The more you pray, the more you're in problems. The more, the more lost you are, the more na vitu kama hizo. This is not a, a time to bash anybody's religion. This is a time where, where you learn, you are here to learn, where we learn, go practice if you want, if you don't, it doesn't matter. Okay? Thou shalt not cast stones at the bystanders. Thou take the message and go. Um, okay, nice. Now, Psalm siko hapa. The Lord sustains the humble, but casteth the wicked to the ground. So, Lord Daramea or Lord Paul, you have to understand first that Lord does not mean God. That is why you can have Lord Jegawa Mudaka, or we can have you and call you a Lord, or they are going to a court of law, na tunasema, my lords. So, Lord is not God. So, here we are talking of someone who is a higher person. So the Lord sustains the humble. So who is the Lord? The Lord will be someone who is a, a little bit up. So this will be like a government, my lords, people who are above you. Okay. So the Lord sustains the humble. So the law or the government sustains the humble and the wicked to the ground. So if you are wicked to the Lord system, if you are wicked to the government, they cast you to the ground. They put you in a cell. So remember when you are casted to the ground, when they used to go and throw you into the gallows or the prisons, they used to throw you into caves 
ama near the beaches so they used to throw you to the ground meaning they used to put you in jail now this even goes deeper so remember being thrown to the ground ground means the physical the 3d you are at your lowest so being thrown to the ground is not even about going now to the ground physical is when you are going to your lowest and your lowest is when you're in your lowest animalistic state so you are led by your desires and when you are led by your desires you can do anything you can kill you can cheat you can take advantage you can be taken advantage of because you are hungry uh, you know you can you can take a bribe and 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 usher in a government that doesn't work for you because you get what i'm saying so now if that is a psalm that says the Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. So before, but for example, now you know this is talking about the Lord, a government, a system that is above you, sustains the humble. So it's telling you to be humble or you be cast into the ground. Now, or put in jail. Be humble. Sit down. Be humble. But when you come to my channel, I've always told you, never be humble. Be modest. Okay? But for that worldview, they want you to be humble. You see, this book is written for this worldview. And it's also written for people who don't want to think for themselves. So it was created for them. And for those who can decode, they are going to decode. And also understand that it was meant to keep some people in those states of mind. So when they read, even when they know how to decode it, what I I'm supposed to be humble. But you're supposed to be modest, not humble. Anyway. But for this world, they want you to be like that to assist him. Otherwise, akuna system in a penda ukue modest. That is why you cannot pick it. That is why you cannot protest. But modesty comes with respect. When I'm protesting, you, you respect my right. You do not throw your tear gas at me. We are being modest. Modesty is shunned. So we like being humble because we like people being weak. So now, when you are doing it as a psalm, so when you get to that, you are supposed to rewrite that psalm for yourself in a language that you cannot decode. Don't even give it that language. So you're supposed to say something, whatever you come up in your own tongue, not an English term, you come up with your own tongue. You can say whatever you want to say, I'm not going to say it. Whatever you say, but then you direct that energy into one of your 5,000 witnesses, which you don't know, which can be that sum. So when I direct, but now it's working for you. So it's the Lord, okay? So the Lord... The Lord sustains the humble. So, unasema, the Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. But I will never be humble. I will always be modest, so we can always come to an agreement with the Lord. And I can even make my own commandment and say, Thou shall not hate the messenger. But now, you cannot, so you are doing it, but you are not putting all that language. So you are coming up with just a word, or a haim, or a ham, or something. And you are saying it with the intention of cleansing that uh, psalm after deciding to use it to your advantage. This is where they say, put on the armor of God. So you are creating your own armor of God by first of all decoding, okay, the book, and now using the book to your advantage. Okay, you are using it to your advantage. Now you are using the word instead of the word using you. Now you are becoming the master. Now you are crafting your own world. You are crafting your own spaceship. You are crafting your own what you can call mental emoji. You are crafting your own what you can call spiritual uh, worship. Think uh, Galatian world of Tukama Izo. So anytime you come to a weak spirit, because remember, we create everything from the internal to the external. So even the meetups we have in the physical world start from the internal. The people persist and things. The people persist the things, the situation, the circumstances that you draw towards you through your feminine natures. The Nanzanga within, the manifestation comes or starts with the mind. Even in the Bible says in the beginning was the word, a frequency. Now that you know how to say the Psalms, now when you go to the book, you stop saying the Psalms the way they are. Because those are the Psalms of David. I will never assume you are David. Now, you know, we all came from, you did not come from David. The last time I checked, your mother is, is Karo, Wajiko, or Mwekari, or Karondu. We are following your mother. Your mother was the one who was given the seed. Your mother is the one who was bearing the seed. Your mother is the ground where the seed was planted. Now, we follow your mother. Tunakuta pia mamako, alizaliwa na nani, na Mwekari. We are following the mother. And who gave the mother birth to Mwekali? Tunafollow, tunakuta, kwanza mama ya Mwekali na ya alikuwa mutaita. 
We are like, what the fuck? She was a tighter, yes. Now you are following that mother. Where did this mother? We follow the mother to Nakuta, Alizariwa na Murumbua. Tunafuata rumbua pokot. We are following the mother. We are following the mother tongue. We are following that ground that is getting sold. So that now we know that the language we have is a program. Whether it's English, whether it's Kikuyu, it's a program. It's alien to you. It's alien language. It's just for you to understand where you have been planted. It has got nothing to do with you. Okay? It's just the frequency you are choosing to decode with your tongue. Now, when you know how to create a language or how a language is created, now you can create your own language, esoterically speaking. Sasa. Or now you can understand what they mean when they talk about speaking in tongues. So when your pastor now gets in tongues, you can hear them say, hey, I'm a mother, I'm a Already you know, EOC spirit, EOC speaking in tongues. Ukisikia, watu wanaonge in tongues, unasikia majina, unajua, unasikia mesema Jehovah. Unasikia mesema Jesus. Unasikia mesema hizo majina zote. Yeah, I'm not calling your names in vain, okay? I don't care about you, Jesus. I don't care about you, Jehovah. It has got nothing to do with me. This is just for teaching purposes only. I don't need to call on you. Now, so, when you understand or in a stand. Sasa, unajua, okay. So, ah, watu wa kanisa, na kwa sikiza, na sikia, na sikia, na sikia, hey, ni maji, hey, ufanya, in the name of something. Then I know that they are not speaking in tongues. Because I know to speak in tongues, I'm not supposed to understand anything they are saying. Neither are they supposed to understand anything I'm saying. And, we are not even supposed to be in a multitude of being in that energy of agreeing to terms of conditions of being possessed. So the, the moment you agree to the terms of condition that we are possessed by a spirit, you can call it holy, 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 it doesn't matter. The fact remains you have agreed to the terms and conditions of being possessed. So whatever is going to possess you, it's under your own terms. and agree. So ask yourself, as a spirit yourself, how many times do you want something to possess you? Yet, when you look in life at people who are possessed, you cast stones at them. Ah, who is possessed by the demon? Ah, he's possessed. You see, he's mad. He's possessed. So, how comes you are pointing fingers without starting with yourself? So, you come Michael Jackson. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Self-reflection. Um, let me see. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He guides me in the path of righteousness. If the foundation be broken, what can the righteous do? No more questions, eh? Nice. Yeah, the Lord is my shepherd. He, 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 he uh, uh, you shall not want. He guides you in the path of righteousness. Now, you have to understand these words. So, righteousness is not even something to be proud about. Okay? Because when you are righteous, it means you are going to the right. So, in the spiritual world, we don't talk of directions the same way, Munasemanga Uku direction, that this is right, this is left. Okay? Or this is up, or this is down. In the spiritual world, when you want to feel, to go to the right in the spirit, this is spiritual travel, 101, crash course. When you want to go to the right, you feel righteous. So in this world, religion practice righteousness. They want to be right. It is our God. It is our way. It is the right way. It is the commandment. Don't lose. So that's righteousness. That's being right all the time. And that's egotistical. That's the energy of God. Okay, and the negative energy of God is him being egotistical. It has to be my way or no other way. Okay, so you have to understand that God and the devil is the same thing. It depends on which time you align. You also, God also has to understand that he has to be relatable. If he's not relatable to us, then that's demonic. You get what I'm saying? Now, so, um, that is what they mean, that... Uh, this is talking about a government now. That the Lord is my shepherd. Your government leads you. They reward you. You run, you're a good boy. Take a medal. Advertise our phone. The worldview of today. 
the God of today is not your God. The God that rules this world is not your God. It's their God, their worldview, how they view the world. It's their religion anyway. Do you have your own religion? You don't. It's the Orthodox, it's the Presbyterian, it's the Melchizedek, it's, their, it's theirs. It's their God. It's their God. It's their worldview, how they want you to worship. You don't have a religion, Africans. Do you have a business? You don't have a business. You don't have an IMF bank. You don't have nothing. All your banks are under a world bank. So who owns that world bank? It's them. It's their worldview. You don't have an education, Africans. I'm in a university. Usiniambi African University Nazarini. And you see, enyu, inafunza masomo yao. You still have to do their papers. It's their Oxfords. It's their PhDs. You still have don't have an education. Do you have politics? You don't have politics. Amuna politics. Your politics is not yours. It's their democracy. They tell you how to run your elections. They print you the papers. They show you how to monitor polls. They show you how to lay the ballot boxes. See, nyinyi muli come up now. It's their government. You don't have a government. You don't have entertainment. It's their top 10 in the world. It's their Billboard 500 top 10 in the world UK. It's their Global Awards. It's their Idol Awards. You don't have your own African. Even if you have, it's a replica of that. You'll be copying that all the way to Big Brother Africa. You have nothing again. So, ukisha jua that everything that you have in this worldview is not yours, was given to you. Now, Ukikuja kwa sams kama hii, the Lord is my shepherd, utajua their Lord, the people who rule you, eh? the world economic program, na vitu kama hizo, you shall not be in want, because if you behave, if you behave and do everything you want, you, they even tell you, you will have nothing and you will be happy. He guides me in the path of righteousness. Always do right. Do the right thing. Protect your neighbor. Do the right thing. That is what that sams means. We are living in those times, it's just that you don't know how to see it. But now when you know how to counter that sums, esoterically speaking, if you know how to counter that sums, if you know how to put on the full armor of God, if you know how now to make that sum work for you, that is Psalm 23. When you go to, to basketball, who was wearing jersey 23? Go to football, nani anavanga number 23? 23 is 5, ukifanya What is the energy of 5? It is the 5-pointed star. Okay, it is the seal of a government. It is what you can call uh, having a feeling about a thought. Number five. What is two? Number two is to relate. What is three? Your surroundings. So when you take 23, you put that someone in that alchemy. So when Jordan was playing basketball in jersey number 23, he was taking, he was becoming, he was being relatable to his surroundings about basketball. So ukiangalia okay, mevaa jazi 23, by default, without you knowing, without you knowing, your psyche knows, your spirit knows, number 23 means relating to your surroundings. So you are relating him to his surroundings, basketball. So you are making him an idol, all the way to you calling him a basketball idol. Number 23. See, it's not just a number. Jazi number 23, why do you think you care about it even in basketball? It's not just a psalm. Imekuambia hapo kwa psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He guided me in the right path, in the right path. Pray basketball number 23. We'll make you a millionaire. We'll build you. But you try to be opposite. We'll kill you. We don't care, you know. You are a product. Iko kwa football saizi. Angalia ni yakinani wanabanga jazi number 23. Si ugugu hapo sasa ni nini? Naulizana nini? And then also check. What is the meaning of number two? Number two means to be relatable, diplomatic. Negative side of number two means to be gullible. You can be used. Number things means you are, uh, your surroundings. Okay? Everything that surrounds you. The negative side of number three is you can be a know-it-all. Number five means having a feeling about a thought. that you Because you start from one, becoming aware. Two, relating. Three, now you are relating in your surroundings. Now you are aware that there's something you can relate. So there's a container that becomes your surrounding. Four, now you have a thought about that which surrounds you. Five, now you have a feeling about the thought about that which surrounds you. Now you can give it a name, a seal. Now it's a star. Now it's a walking man. Now uh, What if you are born on the 23rd? Sasa, did you even, were you even listening to what I was talking about number 23? Ama, ama sasa imekua just because 
Sasa ni dates. Now it's about you. Eh? Now because you know someone was born on the 20th, now in the same kwa ni issue. Eh? So we pay attention to the one who was born on the 20th, eh? Atujafika questions. Nilikuwa nimesema Psalms. Though I understand when you mefika hapa utkifunza Psalms. Anyway, um where are we? Speaking in tongues. Yes. So now ukisha jua how that verse is used, you see now you know. For example, now umekuja kwa hii live umejua. It's not just a number. Now you know it's not just a number. So now it cannot be practiced on you. Now you can practice it. AKA now let's say you have a business. You see? Uh for example, one of my business is body by Richie. So I can decide that since I want body by Richie to be seen, I can sponsor, let's say I, I sponsor a marathon. What I'll do, I'll sponsor a marathon with my t-shirt, with my logo, body by Richie, and make all of them 23. So no one is going to question. Me na najua. So anyone who I'm going to give that t-shirt, wakimbiaji. So kitu ya kwanza nitaena niangalie ni akinani watakuja kukimbia. Niona wamekutoka, unajua every marathon attracts people. Niona wametoka Eldoret, nini, nini. Na kuna locals. So I'll go and give 10 jerseys or 9 jerseys. I'm a life partner, number 9. So I'll give 9 jerseys to wale na juwa takimbia sana. Ni wapea kila mtu wambie, va, izuwa. Va, va, jazz, where this one? See, they are one of the sponsors, Body by Richie. So watava Body by Richie, number 23. Now, let's say I even go beyond. I'm doing rituals now. There's a ritual. I'm the one who set the, the, the weekend of the marathon. I was sponsoring it. So I set your date, a certain alignment, a certain moon, kila kitu alignment with my date, and I have a ritual that I'm doing where I want my business to go viral or to be seen in a bigger way, in a TV, on a vitukama hizo. So on the day that they are doing the marathon, wow, when you a t-shirt, Wakianza marathon, I'll be chanting my own psalms. I'll be doing my own psalms. I've created my own sigils and, and things that I'll be chanting as they are running. Pengine nitakuwa mahali na kijiti mudhegi. Na kongesha tu chini ni kichant. Chanting over and over. I'm cheering with the people in the crowd. Wakikuja kumaliza. But I'm not chanting. Unajua nyimu naona tu watu wazema. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mimi I'm chanting my own psalms. I have my own psalms. Nasiko peke yangu. Pengine I've even told uh, my witches, my women, this is the ritual we'll be doing for the course of this business. So they're also chanting the same. Whatever they are, we are cheering in the crowd, but we, are, we have a, a special chant we have created, given it a meaning to mean that sum. Do you know what that means for that brand or that person whereby people are helping you participate in a ritual? global ritual without them knowing. Now for them it even goes beyond because these are people they put in your TV, in your laps, in your phones, in your stadiums, but you don't even know that it has been placed there strategically. Oh, you participate to see any fun. Eh, you are low hanging fruit. You are just participating in their stadiums opening. So anyway, enough of speaking in tongues. Nikama wametoka. Nikama wametoka. Wametoka one minute na gari hivyo. Lakini hapa kujafungwa ni pipe. Hii maji ingi. Hakuna maji. Ingiza tu mkono hapa ufungue. Hiyo ya juu, ya hiyo. Eh. Hakuna maji. Kuja hata unaona inatoka yesterday had to use a bucket. Eh. Kuna maji. If there's no water I go back to Nairobi today. Cannot use a bucket. Can be a message also, unajua. Kukosa maji pia ni message, eh? Especially for me, it's a big thing. So, um, dayo, dayo. May I be present for this conversation? By there, I had a verse passing, bona bona as if you, and the people were shouting, amen, amen. Who is this? May I, may I be? Yeah, you can request. You can request. You can request as a guest. Request as a guest. You can go open panel. Should I move from the roof or I stay in the roof? Yeah, these are rooftop conversations. Let's stay in the roof. These are nice conversations. Let me drink some water. Let me drink some more. Yona, it's a trico. Yeah, easy job. Huh? Uh. 
see we're having a water issue. This is supposed to be going into this tank. That's a trickle. That's that's even little, less than my pee. That's less than my pee, eh? Yeah. So yeah, if you want, you can. If you want to be a part of the conversation, you can request. No issues. So uh, we continue. Teresa says my lucky number is two three seven. <laughs> two three seven is still three. Okay. Two plus three is five. Plus seven is twelve. One plus two is three. Still three. So you are. Your lucky number is C3, but then when you put it like that, is that you are relating to your surroundings and becoming a judge, or you are judging what you are relating to in your surroundings. So the judgment is what you decide to do. It can be either a godly, number seven, higher nature, so it's either, so the friction is harmonious, not harmful, or you can judge in a demonic way, uh, led by your desires, now it becomes where the friction becomes harmful, you know. Yeah. Shout out to Wangari. Um, Amanda, you can request. You can request as a guest. Or maybe, let me see if I can request from my side. Maybe you don't. If you have, do you have a thousand followers? Amanda. Let me see if Amanda... Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. I can't see Amanda. Amanda, you can request from your side. No judgment. I'm concerned about what I'm available to fix the water leak. Oh, I have um, I have a plumber. He's working on it. <laughs> uh, I have a plumber. He's going to work on it here. Yeah. It's not my plumber though. I'm I'm staying. I'm in a I'm in a hotel. And I came to their roof, so but from yesterday we didn't have water, so they are fixing the water. But they have their own plumber who has come. It's not my plumber. I don't have a water tank yet. <laughs> I have esoteric water tanks. My 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 spiritual rivers never run dry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drink some more, Maji. <laughs> Let me drink some more. You know water records. Water connects. So let me drink some water. <clears throat> Maybe I'm going to create some steam in in my in my one eye, and then that steam can connect me to some firmament, and maybe I can have some more esoteric gems. Eh? Have intentions when you drink or eat things, you know. My, my intention, for example, for drinking this is to nourish my <coughs> throat chakra and the cells within me and also to be connected to, you know, spiritual predecessors who are for me and not against me. You have to be very careful also with your language, you know. Don't just call on ancestors who have no business being around you. The same way you cut off friends, you can also cut ancestors who don't work for you. Cut them off. You don't need them. This is like having someone cheering for you, okay? But they are cheering for you in the crowds. And when someone throws a bottle at you, they look at you like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I also threw the bottle at him, but I can't, you know, he's my buddy. But they are not cheering with you. They are cheering with the other people. That's the same thing. So cut people off, okay? Cut people off who are not on your dream, okay? You don't need to have friends or keep friends. For example, <clears throat> I was put in an alumni WhatsApp group of people we went with high school together. They put me in a WhatsApp group. They didn't even ask. They just put us, the class, the whole class there, class, whatever year it was. So I didn't speak in the group. And so they are communicating. They are meeting up for food and everything. And I'm just quiet. So one day someone was like, why do you have silent members and everything? And so I said, we went to school with all of you. Okay. But, and you all know what I do, because if you have my WhatsApp number, then you know I'm online. But I've never seen any of you on any of my channels saying anything, commenting on anything, or speaking about anything. So I know you are watching, but you are not saying anything. So that means you are not supporting. 
It's not about what I'm doing. Because when you're supporting something, it's not whether you agree with that thing or not. It's, can you see it? Okay, because you don't have to agree. But if you're pretending that you cannot see it, then stop forming our subgroup, a whole classroom, and expecting me to come and dine with you. Okay, because I know that in secret, you are the same people who be the first ones to tear me down. I also know that in case of success, you still be the first people to come pretending that you are not seeing it. So you'll be like, oh, you're still doing that thing, you know? Yeah, I knew you were destined for greatness. Or you knew. Or so you knew when I was doing all the hard work, you knew I was destined for greatness. Yet you never did anything. Did you ever check in to see if I needed a microphone or anything? Did you ever check to see if I was also doing okay, like maybe I was not on my mind? Then you are a hater. So even in the spiritual, don't just call on any ancestors and think, oh, these are their ancestors. No. Call on the right spiritual predecessors that are working for you and are working with you. You don't need baggage at all. No time for baggage. Even in your daily life, if you have friends who don't support what you are doing, cut them off. You don't need them. If you have friends who know that you own a pikanga chapati and they have never ordered chapati from you, they cannot claim they support your business if they have never ordered chapati from you. Cut them off. You don't need them. Cut them off and you are going to align yourself with friends who are also building you. Now, we go beyond. We even have a bee. A bee has come to visit. What do you want now? Nataka maji. If you want water, I can put some water for you in a bottle cup. Kuja ukunywe. Chakusumbua. Kuja ukunywe hapo. The bee is last thing. So cut these people off. You don't need these people off. Okay? You don't need them. If you have people, it doesn't matter whether they are your parents or your mother or your father. I give you an example with me. My father has never said anything about any of my videos. He has never even told me, I see what you do. Okay? Yet, we have so many men in the Kikuyu community when I was ordained as a Kikuyu shaman. There are so many people who are like, you know your son? You know he was ordained like this? You know, He never acknowledged. Neither has my mom. Neither has my sister. So I've cut them off. We talk, yes. But they have no business into anything I'm doing. Meaning, when everything works the way it's supposed to be, I'm still going to deal with them the same way they are dealing with me now. There will be no changes. So they can't come claiming success. Oh, you know we knew. Oh, you know we knew that when your book would blow. No, you never knew because you never said anything. So you are secret haters. You are secret knacks. And we are all secret knacks. I'm not saying everyone is a narcissist in their own way. We are all secret knacks. It's just that some people externalize it or you see it in uh, way more magnified ways. But we are all secret knacks. Now, Otherwise, you would not manifest anything because you would not have a desire. Okay? And everything is manifested out of a desire. So cut these people off. If you have people who are not ready to support whatever thing you are doing, so this will be the first people to tell you, but Ungesom, I don't need your opinion. I just need you to support what I'm, what I'm doing. I just need you to tell me I'm supporting whatever your decision is. I'm your friend. I'll be there for you. That is what a friend does. If they are not doing that, cut them off. You don't need them in your life. Hey, cut them off. It doesn't matter whether it's your grandmother. If she does not agree to what you are saying, cut her off. It's about you, baby. It's all about the Benjamins. It's all about you. It's not about anybody else. Only keep those people who are for you and your dream within your circles. You can interact with them, with the others, but cut them off. These are unnecessary weights. They may be blocking energies. Do you know someone could be willing to help you, but they are not because they think that your family is, 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 is supporting you, and you are not. And maybe if you just show openly that you are lacking, people are willing to step in, but they are not. They want to step in, but they are afraid because they see friends around you. They are not even sure these people you are hanging around. They see you are lacking, but they are like, but he has friends. Like, because now you think you need to associate with these people, so you keep them close, but they are your enemies. But how about you cut them off? Now you can see now you are alone. Now even get to edge closer to you 
and now help you maybe attain your goals even faster or help you open the right doors or help you shake the right hands. Cut these people off. You don't need them. That is even why we talk about what you call the monk mode. So the monk mode is where you decide to um, do what you call go quiet on everyone around you. So you disappear. So the monk mode is the version where people just decide like, to go to the mountains. So these people decide, I'm going to go to the mountains. I'm going to change my diet, start an exercise and become a better version of myself. So what do these people do? They cut their friends off. They disappear. They switch off their phones to come a easel. And when they come back, they come back new them. So you do the same thing. You cut off these friends that you don't need in your life. That's like your own version of your own monk mode. Now what will happen is that once you cut them off, you have now more time to even work on yourself, to even work on your dream, to even see where you are falling short. But you couldn't because this guy was always on your back. This chick is always there, hugging you, telling you, let's go out, let's do this. So they're already a distraction. And the moment you cut these friends off, now you can work on your dream. Now you have more time. I need to get a chair. We need to sit outside. You can't be sitting indoors. We need to... Go and finish this conversation outside. I'm sitting on top of Kirimanjaro. Sit your ass here, Jenga. Let's finish this. I have more water. So we can keep going. Don't think I'm going to run out of breath. Water, ego no enemy. Shout out to fella Kuti. Water, ego no enemy. Water, go no enemy. Be like water, said Bruce Lee. Mm. Someone is dying. So what does, does it mean when people are chanting your name in a race? <laughs> No judgment. Okay. They are cheering you on. Their intention is to cheer you on. So as long as it is the intention that matters, they are cheering you on. Okay. So apo akuna uchawi. Sasa. How will you know the good ancestors? You just call on the good ancestors. That's it. Listening to this when I just talked to dear mommy. Shout out to Lydia. That is what you think. And who said, who came up with that term? You see on my channel, we don't ponder. I'm different. On this channel, we don't ponder. On this channel, we, we question our culture. It takes a cult to cultivate a culture. I repeat, it takes a cult to cultivate a culture. For you to cultivate a culture, it still took some men, some mentalities, some people who felt they were above the others to sit down, do duyaduri, okay, or a council of elders, and come up with terms and conditions to be followed by that other people. So it still takes a cult to cultivate a culture. So I go beyond that. I question even the sayings we have. Who said that? And why would they say that? Because I know how to create a language. So I know how it was created. So you can claim that, but I know how that was created because I came up with the language. Okay? Eddie, you can request if you want. We can have a peaceful conversation about that. But just like I said, Spirituality goes beyond skin color. Spirituality goes beyond language. It goes beyond everything. Especially everything you can see in the physical. So, so yes, you can denounce your spiritual predecessors that never worked with you. Because maybe 
the only reason you are related to them is because you are related out of relativity, out of just agreeing to some terms and conditions. And some of you are even agreeing to generational curses that you have no need associated with. Just because you are born in a certain race, now you are agreeing to those generational curses. You are not those curses. You are not. It is you who agrees to those. And generational curses goes beyond so just before you think we are just talking about the spooky part, generation curses go beyond all the way to what you agree to do in life. You agreeing to go to a 9 to 5 every day is a generational curse because you are agreeing because your father was doing it. So that's a generational curse. You have agreed that the only way you can make money is a 9 to 5. That's a generational curse because when you came, your father was doing the same. So you see, I go beyond I, go, I see. I know how it is created, so I have to see how it's, it goes beyond just someone saying, oh, it's a generation of cars. I go beyond that. There's so many videos on YouTube on how to call on ancestors, so you can check on how to call on ancestors. Maybe now when you call, when you see how to call on ancestors, now you can add good ancestors. Now you have learned how. Yes, sir, sir. <clears throat> now, identifying with generational curses goes as back as, let's say you are born into a community, and in this community they wear a certain type of dress based on your religions and their beliefs. The moment you start wearing those hijabs, the moment you start wearing those robes and those things, the moment you start wearing those cultural artifacts, you have already identified with the generational curse because you don't know. Remember, you don't know at this point, you don't even know why you are wearing them. You are wearing them based on culture. You are wearing based on your mother wearing them. The same way now you make a chapati, you make them round. You didn't even realize that chapati never used to... It, so it was not supposed to be round. It was only made round because the container that was there was round. The, because now you just agree to do things. So all of you now agree to make chapatis. You have to make them round because the pan is round. How about there was, there was no squaring out the pan? Because when they beat the metal, okay, any metal that you are beating, a karai, it has to come out as a sphere. So even after beating a piece of metal, it has to come out as round. This is why now is the only time you are seeing square pans, because now it's easier to cut them out into squares. So look at it like that. Generational curses are the same way you make chapatis and believe they have to be round, because the first one was made was round. I can have a square chapati as long as it's nice and soft. I don't care. About the, but you see, so the same way, since you are born into a culture, you know we wear these clothes, you know we do these things. So by default, you are agreeing to a generational curse. Unless now you agree to the terms and conditions after you know. And this is why a lot of people, when they wake up, they know a lot of these things. They leave the legion, they, they throw away their hijabs, they get outcasted, they even get on planes and leave because now they are aware, now they can see. Generational curses go beyond. Generational curses go to agreeing to certain things. Oh, in our family, everybody has gotten married. In our family, everybody has done a church wedding. So you are forced into a relationship that you don't want to sign a paper for pictures to post as the family picture. How can you shame us? How can you get divorced? No one has ever been divorced in our family. How dare you get divorced? You're supposed to persevere. That's a generational curse. By default, that's a generation of cars. You have agreed to those terms and conditions based on how you are raised. So now you are stuck in a generation of cars. Now your husband is beating you like, like a piece of shit every night. But you can't leave because you don't want to shame your auntie. What will my grandmother say? Everybody gets married. And now you end up being killed by that guy. He runs you over in a, with a car. Now you are dead. Generational curses go all the way to agreeing to how your mother raised you. Oh, I'm raised by my single mother. I'll never get married. I've already seen my mother with all these men getting all these gifts and everything. So you are agreeing to a generational curse. When we follow, unatuambi ata So you are agreeing to that instead of changing it. So generational curses, they go deep. You may be digging for generational curses and you are sitting on one. Because you agreed to do that. You agreed not to leave that relationship. So you have never broken the chain. So all your women are battered. Your mother is broken. Let me start with my own mother. My own mother is broken. My grandmother, may her spirit 
uh, 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 rest in peace, was broken. She died in my mom's house after my grandfather died alone. My mother is living alone. My father is living alone. So if I don't recognize the pattern that this happened to my mom, my grandmother the same. Most probably my grandmother learned from the mother because you always learn the mother. That is why we say, So if I don't recognize the pattern and see that my mom is also trying to come in between me and my wife, okay? If I don't recognize the pattern and, hey, hey, hey mom, how dare you try to lecture my wife on how to run a home and you, are, you don't have a home? Isn't it ironic that you have been separated from my dad for 10 years and now you are trying to tell my wife how to, you know, aniyaniyakia shati? No, leave my wife alone. How she hangs the clothes in the clothing line from the washing machine is her business. Wacha kumuambia ati nguwazi na anikango hivi. You wewe. No, don't do that to my wife. You, see, you have to see the patterns. Okay? Your father is advising you about your wife. You know, women... You, you know, no, 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 you cannot advise me, dad. You cannot advise me about how to keep a home if you're not with my mom. No, 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 we are not going to talk about, we can talk about other things. However, I'm going back to a warm bed. I'm going to spend the night between the thighs of a beautiful black woman. Okay? She's going to dine me and entertainment. We are going to have dinner as a family. And then I'm going to take a shower, get in bed, maybe some love making, or maybe I'm going to get a massage on my head or the back you on the opposite side my dad is sleeping alone here i'm leaving you alone here the moment i leave you lock the gate you release the dogs you're in fear no you cannot advise me about relationship you cannot advise me about money i like your ideas on money i like how you're investing when it comes to relationship no 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 no. i don't want any relationship advice from you daddy or you mommy because you already separated so you are the wrong examples the same to my aunties they can't tell me shit they are separated. So even when people are giving you advice, filter them. You are giving me advice on my husband, but you are separated. Ah, no. No, 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 no. I'm not going to agree to a generational curse. Because even when I look who was advising you, let me see my grandmother. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't know. So you are breaking generational curses without going too far, without getting too spookism. It just begins by cutting friends off and also being able to filter how these things come to you so you can see them. And be open to being open-minded. Be open to succeeding out of a relationship that is not abusive. You don't need an example. You can be the example. You see a lot of the things that are happening now, especially now, uh, is, for example, the dating scene. Or the relationships. So, to make one easy to what we are co-parenting. No, you are not co-parenting. Both of you, losers, had a baby, me included. We all learned from our mistakes. But we are not agreeing because we were having sex without discernment. Now there's a baby. Now both of us are responsible for the spirit. So we can say we are co-parenting, but it's a lie. Only one person is raising this child. So instead of that, let's agree to the disagree. Mom, keep the baby. I'll support the baby. I'll do everything. I'll be coming to visit the baby once in a while. Because now what we are doing, we are even fucking it up even more. Now this baby is now even more confused now. What is this co-parenting? Two days with the father. Two days with the mother. These things, are they don't happen like that. But it's showing you that we are in new times. And if you are in new times, how you communicate has changed. Now you communicate with phones. Text messages, Navitukama Iso. So we have evolved even as a spiritual race. So even how you communicate in relationships has changed. So do not expect to have a relationship where you are following a book. And shout out to Steve Harvey and all the broken relationships they have caused. You know, you know you follow these gurus because they are they are pushed by numbers. Oh Steve Harvey, the perfect wife, the perfect husband. And now he has he has his wife getting uh, dicked by people around, which I encourage. Okay, I encouraged that also because she, she was going through an abuse. Whatever abuse Steve Harvey was putting her through to make her sleep with other men to the point he knows. Because if a woman sleeps with another man, you never know. You never know. The only time you find out is when she wants you to find out. When she has lost respect for you to the point now she wants you to find out. Okay? And when you get to that point, it's a point where she's ready to move on. 
Okay, it's called women, it's called monkey branching. You know, when you're spiritual, you can become an expert in any in any niche. Okay, but these are the conversations we have with men. It's called monkey branching. A woman will not jump from one branch to another if she has not seen a branch to go and land on. Away from that relationship nonsense. So now, right now, we have to understand that the way we communicate has changed because even your phone is showing you. You communicate differently, texting, emails. We no longer want to be close to each other. So that means as a spiritual race, the Sencho, we have expanded so much into the spiritual world. We have expanded so much. We are so distant in the spiritual world, but still we still want to be connected. So we have to learn how to be connected but from a distance, this is why people are, are getting awoken. This is even why we are having relationship problems because people want to have their relationships move differently. People want to be loved. Let's just call it differently. People want to be loved differently because we are in different times. That is how we should be looking at these things. We want to be loved differently because we are in different times. We want to be appreciated differently because we are in different times. If we agree to evolving, if you are agreeing to the world changing, how comes when it begins to us, we remain stuck? We want to stuck in the boys to men era. It cannot work in today's world. We want to be stuck in Ryan or Richie. It cannot work in today's world. We want to be stuck in Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey is the boomers. Fuck them all. Those are our fathers. This it has not worked. So it is not going to work. We need new relationships. We need new ways of relating with the people we have. We have to understand that we are very traumatized. We are a broken generation. Everybody has got trauma. So we have to learn how do we love people with trauma. Do we first of all heal our trauma? Or do we heal our traumas together? Because it can take you forever to overcome trauma. So we accept first of all that we are doing what we call trauma bonding. So now we understand this is not love. This is trauma bonding. We are all hurting. Let's have a trauma bonding. Tukijua, now we are agreeing. This is a trauma bonding. Your mother is separated. From your father. My mother is separated from my father. So we cannot look at them as examples. To, to agree. First of all, we are not listening to any of them when it comes to a relationship. To may agree, eh? to may agree. Now we are having new relationships. We are in new worlds. New times. So the relationship now you agree on becomes where and your partner. Thought and feeling. Adam and Eve. Hikoyo and Moby. Because it's only you two people who matter in the world. Everybody else don't matter. Don't go to your relationship based on TV, based on a movie, or based on the neighbor. It doesn't work like that. We are all in trauma relationships. And shout out to the people who are not in trauma relationships. Shout out to you. <clears throat> the gods who are good to you. Work on whatever you want to work on. Shout out to you. So, now, when both of us now come and collectively agree... That, wait a minute, we don't have examples of successful relationships from your mother. Let's check your grandmother. We don't have. Let's check our side. We don't have. So how about me and you, Monjiro, we create something new, something beautiful. How about, no matter what my mom says to you, you ignore her. No matter what my father tells me about you, I ignore him. How about we create something new, something beautiful, because you already know that their way is not working and my father's way is not working. How about we make something new work? How about that now? How about if everything was as easy as just doing something your own individual way? Your own, what is called spirituality? Your own individual way. How about we stop looking at the movies? How about fuck Steve Harvey? Fuck his wife? How about fuck Diana and all these people you follow with their influences? How about you? How are you relating? Or are you pressuring your man? To take dowry to your home without understanding that even kwao aiko in a pelekwa. So he's dealing with a lot of trauma. Babaki hata ataki kuona ameoa. His father is not even happy that you are married and you are pressuring your man walete mali. How about we fuck everything up now and start afresh? Hey, maneno wa dowry. Hey, brother Bernard. We understand about dowry. However, e dowry is coming with a lot of pressure. Atuchukui loan ju ya dowry. You are going to wait. Because ata hii dawari munaitisha na nguvu sana. See, you already separated. Sinyi munitoa dawari. Na si hata mukai pamoja. Muna niambia nini nyinyi. Ni muna asiti na kutiri dhina ginya mutire iguwa na. Si umu tuende pole pole vitu zita kam. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. These are new times. How you relate with relationships. 
how you relate with businesses. You are people putting pressure on your spouse about money, but they are on rentals. You are in-laws, wanasumbua bibi yako at moduru wa kudaru takawera na wako kwa rentals wao. So just because you cannot pay their rent, you are paying your rent and you are paying your in-laws rent because whatever money you are giving your wife and end up with a rent. But they have the nerves to speak about your business. Na kwa ni umbuwa na wako limuwa, kwa ni ya patangi, kwa ni ya biyashara nyo inuanga pesa. Ay, si mumeka sana kabula mjajenga. Bitch, I'm paying your rent too. How dare you speak about me being on rentals na hata huko kwa rento. You're also on rentals. How about you be an example? You show our family business. I, I got my daughter from you. How about you show her family values business? I let her pia kwa side yangu we build. You're not coming from the same side. Some of us are coming from very traumatized, uh, slave mentality kind of uh, 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 relationships where there was no example of builders. There's no one. There's no example of a building, one-story building. Family yenyu wakuna mtu wamejenga one story, one floor. No. And people are putting pressures on you. No. Tunaenda pole pole bana. Candid conversations. We don't want pressure. Atutaki pressure. These are new times. Fuck your pressures. Tunaenda pole pole. Okay? Because that is the only way now we can understand. Oh shit. This comes from agreeing to a generational curse. Where now, I'm stuck in all these loans because I was trying to please these people or made these things. Now, I don't even know what to do. Shame is eating me. Now you have anxiety. Now you have uh, lifestyle diseases based on stresses on life because you are trying to agree to a generation of cars that Nilazma Mufanya wedding. Now you have four million to pay bill wedding. For what? And you are even stuck in a loveless relationship or marriage. Two years down the line, Muna divorce. You still have a loan of four million. How about you do things your own way as long as you are doing it God's way? How about we show God new ways of relating now? We come up with new ways of relating. People look at you, they're like, how do you maintain your relationship despite everything? You're like, this is a new relationship. We have agreed to the terms of conditions of not listening to people. We have agreed to the terms and conditions of if you want the best for a child, we don't care what people say. We go for what we want. Fuck what you say. You can call us stupid. It's okay. It's our stupid relationship. But at least we got each other. The ones calling us stupid, one is 90 miles away from the other. New days, new times, new relationships, even when it comes to businesses. The old way of doing business is gone. Now you have rebounds, state one meter from one another. Now you need more certificate. The way of doing business has changed. So how about you also change the way of doing business? How about uh, now about now you get you become your own alchemist now? How about you design your own business name? Using alchemy. They do it with their brands, the Coca-Cola. How about you start practicing the same game? How about enough of praying? How about we start doing something? Enough of praying on your knees. How about we start praying? P-R-E-Y. Going after our dreams. How about for now? For once we practice what they have been practicing them. How about we get in rituals and spells like them? How about we have our own 4 a.m.? clubs how about we have five our 5 a.m's business club meetings how about we start having our own podcasters having 5 a.m instead of prayers pray p-r-i-y religion weakness how about we have pray p-r-e-y where we have our own people create podcasts where when we wake up in the morning at 5 a.m instead of listening to someone crying when the day is starting, oh my God, oh my God. because it's not what you do, it's how you're doing. You're starting your day from a low vibration. How about you start your day with affirmations? How about we start your day with a 5 a.m. podcast where it's telling you how to go out there and conquer? That's how you change the world because that is how they are doing it. And when you're saying your prayers, if you have to say them, how about you say them the right time? If you are doing baptism, how about you do baptism when it's supposed to be practiced? As a K, as above, so below, around cancer hour. How about during Noah's ark? How about we start practicing those things now? Instead of talking and wailing and weeping and waiting for five acres and a mule or waiting for we are the sons of the Mau Mau fighters or we are the children of the freedom fighters. How about we start changing things for ourselves? These are new times. 
because the shift has happened and God wants to work with people now who are working for themselves. The old is gone. Welcome to the new world. <clears throat> Someone is like, but you are born 70s, you are a boomer too, I guess. And he has his eyes like, you are a boomer too, I guess. You think I was born in the 70s. How comes you cannot speak like me? I'm ancient. You know how many times I've been to this world? Is it a good idea to find a friend to start a business? Yes. If he's your friend, yes. If you agree and you put your weight behind that business, yes. If you truly believe in that friend and his abilities, then you can put your money in that. It's even better because now you're even adding your energies. Because once you invest in that business, you can even suggest something. You can say, may I suggest also something you can try? Don't be in that business, but if he's willing to listen, that's a good thing. Okay. Um, yeah, shout out to everyone. So... <clears throat> Yeah, it's time for new things, new relationships, new ways of relating. And so no one is stopping you from using the five pillars that they have set to rule the world. You know, they, they, they have, they utilize their five pillars, which is business, education, entertainment, sports, and religion, which is okay. Now, you use the same things, but you use it for God. So instead of using social media for your own uh, desires, which there's nothing wrong, you can spend an hour just browsing and everything, as long as you do everything in moderation. How about maybe you have skills? You are a teacher. You know how to teach children in a school. I agree. How about now when you come home, you take another 30 minutes of your hour online and you just teach on your TikTok for 30 minutes, but you are doing it for God. You are doing it for whoever would have a child and they would like to learn this. Okay? Just 30 minutes every day. As a routine, you come you do 30 minutes. Every day you come, whatever grade you teach in school, let's say you teach grade 2. So every day in the evening, whatever you taught in class, you summarize in 30 minutes or you make it very small and you teach it on TikTok. Do you know how viral you would go? Do you know how many people would follow you because they have children? And since they are lazy, when they get home, they would be playing that for the child to learn something or do homework. You'd be their teacher at home. And you're doing it for God because you have no... And you, you, you are just doing it purely because you love doing it. Do you, that's how you change the world. You don't start by now getting online and the moment you're like, okay, subscription, now you have to pay for this. No. Once you start that, that's even how you start a school, an online school. That You don't know how that God, the people who are impacted by that, they may love that thing so much. They may fund you so much that you are going now to quit your job and start your own digital school funded by the people so they are taking care of you and you're still kicking out free information but now they are donations the donations are so much you quit your job you're working from home you are in your lessons you even have teachers now under you but you don't know how to see it like that you don't know how to see it like that because you don't have building minds because you believe for you to teach you have to go to a certain school because they, they teach you you have to be in a school and administration and everything but they are showing you that the people who are making money other people who are doing it they are way the, the the applications are showing you that the people who are reaping the money are the people who are becoming self-made business coaches who the people are believing in so it's not about them and the institutions it's about the people do the people believe in you because if we, if we believe in you no one can tell us otherwise if we believe in you as a teacher, it's no one else. We believe in you. There's no government, no, unless now they can shadow ban you, block your channel, but we already believe in you, your abilities, your thoughts and feelings. And that's how you create a brand. That's how you create a property. All you have to do is believe in you. And then you, if you're doing it for God, you also have to know when to say no. Be careful with the hands you are shaking because when they recognize you, they always come to try and earn from that. They always come to try and hijack that and still make you work for them. But now they look like they are the people who are paying you. 
aka now you have to buy a badge to be on their platforms now you have to all the way to even taxing you zasa yeah uh how many minutes nine minutes q and a you can throw in any question now for nine minutes now we are open for questions <clears throat> can request before I go for my brunch. <coughs> I haven't had water. Uh, I mean breakfast. Someone says God loves you. Love back at you. Thank you. Mm. We are all children of God. And they try to make you feel ugly. And so I won't say who, but there are some people who will always try to make you feel ugly. They always try to make you feel less. So they make you get implants. So because they know they are ugly, they have ugly spirits. So they know you are beautiful beings. Human beings are beautiful. You are beautiful creatures. You are beautiful spirits. But because they are ugly and they want to maintain this world, they even now make you feel ugly about how you look. So they create, like our women, we already have, this is why I'm telling you. Do you know we already have a new type of woman? We already have a GMO woman. So when I talk of a GMO woman, look at all the women now who are trending. They have done liposuction. They are not even normal. Their hips is not normal. That's not normal. That's not humankind. They are very different. You look at their pictures. I like looking at women, models, bikini pictures and things like those ones, okay? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mid-heaven Taurus. I'm ruled by Venus. So I'm ruled by I like beautiful things, beautiful things, beautiful people, beautiful women with beautiful behinds and all the features. I'm an earth sign. So I'm an earth bender. So I like form, shape. Okay? So now, when I look at the videos, I'm noticing this breed of woman whereby now when their waist comes, instead of their waist curving in, it's coming straight and then they are getting badly. So they are, they are looking more like I don't even know what to say. So they're already programming us. They're initiating us into the kind of woman to agree to. So soon, every woman will have to go under the knife. So that's another new business where every woman has to be recaptured. That's how they program you. That's why they allow people like Akina Nicki Minaj because that's a billion dollar industry. So soon it will be very hard to find an organic woman. To be very fine, hard to find a homegrown ass. Every time I meet my women, I'll be like, is that homegrown? Let me see your chest. Is that homegrown? Oh, it's silicon? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know I'm GMO and everything, but there are some things I'm like, nah, 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 I'll pass, you know. So we are new worlds, okay? They try to make you look ugly. They try to make you feel less. But you are nevertheless, you are beautiful people. Understand that this is done intentionally. All the way to the men balding. We know the people who have bald heads. So they have ensured that they have gotten us into a diet that is making all the men lose their hairs. Because they want all of us to lose their, our hairs to look like them. Shit is deep. Shit is deep. If you know who, the Detroit order people who run you. Okay? Hmm. Someone is asking any manifestation tips. Yes. Now, I'm going to give an example with uh, who has asked this. Caroline. So, let's say, is an example. So, let's say Caroline has a boyfriend who promises to buy her a G-Wagon. He's capable, yes. He can buy the G-Wagon. He can. But he's promising her he's going to buy her a G-Wagon. So Carol is so focused on the G-Wagon that was focused that the boyfriend starts mistreating her. But since she's so focused on manifesting the G-Wagon, because you remember it's still a manifestation, Atakama Liambiliwa, that she's missing the red flags, and she's so stuck with this boyfriend because of the G-Wagon 
the destination that she's missing other opportunities in between that can lead to the same destination but these ones are quicker for example she is so obsessed she's willing to stay with the boyfriend for 10 years in the hope that she's going to get that jig wagon yet she has an inheritance that is coming her way and she has been ignoring to follow up on that and by following up on that thing because now she had to travel with the other guy for 10 years she forgot about the inheritance but the inheritance she left behind is worth so much more like maybe the land could have been uh, has a borehole could have been turned into a farm and that farm would have bought the G-Wagon that Caroline wants. But now she's so stuck on the one that was promised that she misses this point. So by the time she comes back to Kenya after 10 years with no car, broken and bruised, to realize the value of the land, maybe she even sold it without even caring about it because she was away chasing the G-Wagon. She only comes back to, oh my God, is this the land that I sold? Anambua, oh, anatawanga nyanya huku na crate, they export things and everything. That guy has a V8 and everything from the land. So when it comes to manifestation, this is what I want to say. Don't put a direction on how you want to attain that thing. Don't give it a meaning that I want to attain this building and I'm going to build by getting money through this. No, don't give it a meaning where it's coming from. It can be a donation. You don't know. Because the moment you limit it to a direction... Maybe it is not going to come through. Or if it's going to come through, it may go through so much trials and tribulations. By the time it gets to you, you no longer even need it. You won't even enjoy it as much. Time will have passed you so much. So when it comes to manifestation, just set the intention and let God take charge. This is the only time I can tell you to let God take charge. As long as you are doing the right rituals and witchcraft or what you call in the Bible, faith and works you have faith in that things and you're putting the works or what you call rituals and witchcraft you have that as a witchcraft you know the things you're supposed to be crafting the thoughts and ideas you're supposed to be adding on that and you're stuck on a ritual every day you spend some time to be emotionally connected to that thing you get it so that's the secret to manifestation don't give it a meaning don't be like i need i need ten thousand dollars so i need to Kick this thing really hard to get the $10,000. No, the $10,000 can come from one person. You can meet one person when putting gas in your car. You have a conversation, you, you exchange cards. The next day, it gives you a contract with a down payment of like $50,000. So you get your $10,000 up front instead of going through so many trials and tribulations because you were stuck on how to get it. Oh, I want to build this empire. But to do it, I have to go through this way. No, don't limit yourself. Just put your intention out there. Put your faith, belief, and imagination in it. Be emotionally connected to that thing. And there you go. Let me whisk you away. Because you say the Lord works in mysterious ways. Don't you say the same? The silver things on your neck. Is it for her? This is not, frequent. This is not a silver. This is aluminium. This is aluminium. So why do other individuals tear down knowledge, wisdom, and individuality and refuse nature? Because once you allow people to be individual, it becomes too hard to govern them <clears throat> or it becomes too hard to rule them. And to be really honest, they don't do this out of bad intentions. Okay? It's not, they don't do this because they want to, it was not ill-intended at first. But we have had generations who, after being given too much freedom, they don't know what to do with that freedom. They lived chaotic. So these are civilizations that went into war and hated each other. Uh, so these are uh, ancient cities that people built on uh, dangerous places. So when we had calamities come, they were all covered. So... Since the system that we have right now, what they call their God, has been working for so long, they'd rather maintain this system because it seems to be working. 
this seems to be working for the low hanging fruit we may have war here and there population control and all these things but it seems to be working because they have been there for so long and they have seen others collapse they have seen so many systems collapsing so they would rather maintain this system so that is how they look at it they look at it like they are doing the work of god okay so this goes all the way back to your bible what it means to have a lost tribe so a lost tribe is every time we allow people who are fucking out of wedlock so in the bible esoterically speaking when you are fucking out of wedlock it is when you are having or mixing and mingling with thoughts and feelings of people who are not your race okay so now you go you have children with them after sometimes now they want to rebel and come and kill the father so those are considered the lost tribes okay in the bible those will be the lost tribes so even in today times we have the lost tribes and even in today they do the same controlling thing so someone like Saddam Hussein would be considered a lost tribe because this someone who has been given a, a legion to govern okay you remember all the leaders are still their puppets and then he started becoming too 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 clever for himself so he has to be taken out someone like Gaddafi also Gaddafi is also another lost tribe okay so he does not know that you do not fight this system you have to work with this system you have to know how to the moment he was doing very okay gaddafi was doing very okay free oil free housing but the moment he decided to come up with his own dinar his own gold his own system of business so he's trying to go against one of their pillars which is business you cannot go against their pillars you work with them so they were like no take gaddafi out he's a lost tribe take him out take his child take his brother those are the lost tribes so even today times we have lost tribes people like president makufuri you do not fight these people if you are there you know how to work so he should have agreed that there was this thing but then speak to his people and tell them you know come up with an idea like you know we have a lot of herbs you can also mix it with herbs and also like even become clever like when they send these things and not this he has a way of having his own placebos because he has the means made and disposing a lot of this and having his people accept placebo you, you have to work with the system you cannot fight this system this beast has been there for this machine has been there for too long so what you do is you work and they are not going to attack you so a lot of the people who are successful in the world is because they work with the system not selling to the system so they are looking at you they look at you like oh he has a product a new product like he was is doing so you lock them to sleep you create a product and when they are coming for you to shake hands you are like i don't want to shake hands but you don't want to shake hands in a good way because you have already put structures whereby if you have to sell your soul for that you are ready to because you have the ability to create another you are able to detach that leave it anyone who wants to copy can copy and you can create something new because you are the creator you are not the creation always remember that and you are beautiful people so that is why they don't want individuals or this kind of knowledge out there because also this knowledge can make people ungovernable okay people will, will want, don't want to have masters and that's also dangerous because you can't have people running chaotic that's having too many lost tribes and we can since we can knock on each and everybody's door like they used to do back in the days knock on everybody's door get them out and leech them so they want your neighbor to help them do that aka protect your neighbor na vitu kama hizo so you know Do you think the BRICS currency system it will work out? I understand. I didn't create this war and I can't end it. Yes, you didn't create this war and you can't end it. However, you can keep participating in this thing, but you will always be you will never be handed the short end of the stick. You will always be on the good side. You will always be you will always have an equilibrium in all existences. You will always have an equilibrium. Because once you know the system, now you decide how to participate. Are you doing it for God? Are doing it for God? Are you doing it for the good end? Okay? Sometimes you are going to have trials and tribulations wanting to attack that. But since you know it's created now, you know how the system is created. So you know how to balance. You know how to balance. It's all about the balancing. It's all about the balancing. Brother, let a yoki to ninyanye pia. Ah, tumekunywa maji. We are drinking water. Oh, you want some weed? I don't have weed. I grow my own weed anyway. I don't have weed. I grow my own weed. The last time I grew my own weed was uh, two years ago. 
uh, two huge plants. Uh, I cut one down, it didn't dry properly, shared it among people. The other one was mature, I cut it down, it was really nice, also shared it. It was a good crop. It's a good crop. If you want to smoke weed, grow your own weed. Don't just smoke weed that has been passed down hands that are in fear. Nabitukama is or grow your own weed. Or if you get weed, just before you smoke it, just trans transform that weed to work for you. Sasa. Hmm. Yeah, so. Yep. The Lost Tribe. Everything they name in the Bible is something that you can do inside you. Okay? When in the Bible they talk about the Gentiles, the Gentiles are just the people who are ruled by their genitals. The genitals are the organ below your waistline, your lowest animalistic natures, meaning these, the Gentiles will be considered people who are acting out more in their desires. It's about their desires. They are ruled, they are ruled by desires. It's about getting drunk. It's about having married. They don't care about anything else. So those will be the Gentiles, people who are behaving like the genitals, a.k.a. your lower animalistic states. This will be your Scorpio area. This will be the area that looks your sexuality, sex organs, Sagittarius, the thighs, all the way to your Capricorn, the knees. Okay, you being able to stand up on your feet, your sheen area, Aquarius, um, and your feet, the Pisces, the dream, the imagination. All those organs below the horizons will be inside the Gentiles. So every time you are acting out of your desires in an animalistic day, you are being a Gentile. Because you are behaving like one of your chakras from the genitals. Misasa. Mm. Shout out to everyone in the comments. Oh, I still have two more minutes. Ah, yeah, so mingle with the Gentiles. I mingle with the Gentiles. I know I mingle with the Sometimes I act like a Gentile. Hey, you should see me as a Gentile. When I'm stuck in one of my animalistic state, I behave like a Gentile, but I always know when to balance. Okay, I do it for God. Fight fire with fire. Okay? I do not turn the other cheek. I fight fire with fire when I need to. Shout out to all my Gentiles. You know, I'm like you. There's no difference. I'm growing my wings. Okay? Everything I'm telling you, I'm only reminding you. You also know these things. You just have to remember. I don't know anything better than you. I've just remembered stuff. I'm not special. I'm not a messiah. I am not a, 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 a savior. I am none of those. You don't even have to follow me. All you have to do is come, take the knowledge, go do your own. If it makes sense, if it doesn't make sense, you don't even have to take it. I don't want followers. It's each one teach one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Because who said you don't know? Who told you don't know? Was it your teacher? Was it your parent? Was it your mother? They don't believe in you. Eh? It was your father. Or is it your spouse now? They don't believe in you. So are you agreeing to some generational trauma? Who said you're not enough? You need to heal on something. Start working on that thing. Know that you're enough. Misasa. Ciao, ciao. Let me go for my brunch. We'll catch up later. Love you from the bottom of my heart. Tayo.